What is up guys, Marnie K Spidey here bringing you guys my first ever kind of tutorial and I wanted to bring you guys a tutorial on how to download and install custom skins for League of Legends. So I've recently got into this and I gotta admit these skins are pretty freaking sick. As these skins that people make, uh modding community or whatever you want to call them, they make these custom skins for you to use in League of Legends and they're actually legal to use. So you could go into rank game and use them. The only one thing is I don't think uh, other people can see your skin. So just keep that in mind. But I'm going to show you guys how to download and install them today. And don't mind all the damn icons here. It's just all my mess. So the first thing you want to go to is this right here. It's called an SIU installer. Or the skin installer ultimate. And pretty much I'll have this link in the description below for you guys to download. And what you want to do is you want to download it. And it's going to give you a zip folder. So let me go quickly to that zip folder. I should still have it. So we'll go to downloads and go all the way down. SIU 4.3. Like it should be this. So what you want to do is you want to open it. It's gonna you don't have to extract anything, so don't worry. So once you have this, you want to create a new uh, folder. It could be on your desktop anywhere you want. I'll just do it on the desktop. And you want to name it whatever you want. Um, I have mine named as custom skin client. You can name it whatever I'll do, test client, or whatever you want to call it, client. So what you want to do is you want to open that folder, and you want to copy all of this, so control A, control C, click on this folder, and do control V. And it should pretty much copy everything on there. Don't be so slow now. <laughs> Alright. So now you could exit out of this folder, the SIU folder. This is the only folder that you want now. Oh, whoops. I'll try to minimize it. My bad. Alright. So once you have everything here, you want to go down. You want to find this right here. Skin installer ultimate. I'm not going to run it because I think I already have run. But what you want to do is you want to right click it and run as administrator for the first time. It's going to prompt you to locate your League of Legends launcher. So I have mine under my data in Riot Games low launcher. Usually for people that I think just do a default download it should be under your OS so your main drive and program files and there should be something called Riot Games around here under R but it's not there for me because I installed it somewhere else. And that's kind of what you want to look for. You just want to look for that full, this folder right here, Riot Games. And you just want to click on that when it prompts you to locate it. So that's the whole entire install for the SIU. I'm just going to delete this folder because I'm not going to need that. I have mine right here. So what you want to do is you want to run it. Be patient with it because once you locate your League of Legends launcher, it's going to take a while for it to initialize everything. Like, look, it's still initializing. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. It takes a while sometimes. It's not like it's not like it's a super fast program. If I would say to myself. So while that does all that stuff, you could just leave that over. You want to create. Well, what I recommend is create another folder and just call it low skins or something, or just call it custom skins. And then here's where you want to put all your custom skins. So I'm going to install a new custom skin actually. Once this finishes though, I'll let this initialize probably. Probably just cut this out. Okay. So now that that's initialized, you're going to get, well, I think it takes you to the screen first. It will initialize everything. It will clean up client, blah, blah, blah. So this is going to be your main window right here. You want to be on this tab, which is add new skin. So now you want to go to another website, which I'll have in the description below called leecraft.com slash skins and now here you could go through filters and pretty much choose whichever car well, champion that you want to get a skin for now keep in mind that some skins are for the default skin and some skins are for like 
like this right here, like this is for the Devonar. Oh my gosh, I can't say goddamn name. This is like the Dev the Devonar Ezreal skin. So it doesn't replace your default skin, but it replaces the Devonar skin. So you have to have that skin boy. So we're gonna go and choose a champion that we want to get the skin for. I'm gonna do Diana because I saw freaking amazing skin for Diana. So right here you have a bunch of skins. You have White Valkyrie. Heavenly Valkyrie, that looks pretty freaking cool. That's for the Dark Valkyrie skin, actually. What else? Really want that. Lunar Rage. Alright. So we're gonna do this one. The Ultimate Cyber Moon Diana version 2.0. It looks pretty fucking amazing, doesn't it? <laughs> so there's also a how to install guide here if you want to click that. If you still have some questions or are kind of confused on what I'm trying to do here. But pretty much once you have the skin that you want, you want to click download. It'll give you this. I'm using Firefox, by the way. I'm going to do save file. I'm going to save it into my low skins. Remember the number that it is. So 44223. All right. So that's in, that's downloaded. You can close that or you could just minimize it. And now you want to go here and add files. I wouldn't recommend add directory. I haven't really like messed around with that. I'm just going to say add files. Look for that one as you download. So 44223. Click on it. Following found the most files, blah blah blah. Just click OK. So you see it has a lot of files. Like, there's a reason why it's an ultimate skin. <laughs> but once you have all that in, so once this all finishes, you want to add to database. It's gonna prompt you to name it. I think it's Cyber Moon then as the skin is called. Yeah, Cyber Moon. I usually go based off the name that they put. So Cyber Moon Diana. And click OK. And add a Cyber Moon Diana skin base. You can go to the other side and install it. Uh, you can put it so you can automatically install it at this time or blah blah. I'm just gonna click OK. Alright, so now it's gonna. So from this tab, it's gonna go into the install existing skins. So these are a bunch of skins that I have. Mecha Fizz is a really nice skin. I definitely want you guys to check out if you guys can find it. There's Arcade Jinx. Now, remember that some skins are just recolors, while other skins are like more like part of, like Mecha Fizz was the first skin that I actually had like some. It was for the default skin, but it changed a lot. Like it changes the particles of it and everything. It's really nice. Um, the champions that I do know that doesn't work is Cassidy. Cassidy, you can't get skin sword right now. I think. Because he recently had a model update, so I don't think they've probably made a bunch of skins for him yet. But you want to go down to the skin that you installed, so Cyber Moon Diana. Click the box next to it, and click install. Click save. Don't worry about anything there, and let it install. All right, this one's gonna take because look. The files at this one has 57 compared to things like like basic recolors like Headhunter Jinx or something. It's like six. Um, Evil Jinx is like three. Majin, oh that one's actually a lot. Arcade Jinx is only one. Mega Fizz is like 19. So the skins that have more files are often the ones that are actually like they look better in a sense. Like they're more top tier skins. So once it's finished, it's gonna. Say all this, you have installed an error client mod, and so it's like click that restart low, blah blah blah. You don't have to worry about that. Installed 57 files. I'm gonna click OK. And then from here, from this same window, don't go into the basic um, League of Legends installer or um, launcher. From the same window, click start low, and it will run the install, it will run the launcher for you from here. So just let it load for a bit. And just launch League of Legends and run it as normal. I'll show you guys some in-game gameplay of the skin I just installed. So I will see you guys back when I actually launch the game. Alright guys, so we are back in the game. And as you can tell, the skin installed successfully. The, right there, that is Cyber Moon Diana. It looks really nice, so let's see why I'm going to use our Q. That looks... Oh my gosh, this guy... I can tell this guy really put some time into the skin. So we're just in a custom game, just testing out the skin. So, yep, manual. 
I'm gonna try to level up to six as quickly as possible so I can show you guys all, all the other abilities. Oh, See, I should have done something like quick level up or something, but you know, which is dumb. Like, like this thing actually has custom particle effects and everything. Which is nice. So let's see what the W looks like. Oh my gosh, that looks freaking sick. So you can pretty much tell this skin is beastly. <laughs> I don't think there's a custom recoil animation. So let me just see. So it's like my first time showcasing the skin. Don't worry, I'll I'll get better at it. There we go. Okay, so we got our E. Let's see how the E looks like. Ooh, that looks pretty nice actually. So I did. You had to make sure since this skin overrides the default skin, you have to make sure that when you go into a game, you have the classic skin clicked on. So don't try using like something like a Dark Valkyrie Diana if you're trying to use this skin. There we go. So let's see if there's a custom backing animation. I don't think there is No, There isn't. Still looks really nice. I will admit. So let's... I'll just buy like... No. Man, mana crystals. Yeah. Let's get a bunch of mana going. <laughs> so let's actually look at the skin from here. So I'll just go over here. Let's make sure we zoom in. Control P. There you go. Oh yeah, that's yeah. Cyber Moon Diana. <laughs> and that is pretty much how you guys oh, install custom you skins. <laughs> that is pretty much how you install custom skins, guys. <laughs> Nothing else. If you guys have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below. Either way, this has been Martin with a custom skin tutorial. And I will see you guys later. Peace out. A man, a woman, and a yordle walk into the sun. They die. Because it burns them alive? <laughs> They called me a heretic. Now they are dead. Ha! Huh. Dusk approaches. Yes. <laughs>